it's okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today we are uh, coming together to recognize uh, and commending our girls softball community at the secondary high school level and for all the accomplishments that the coaches have done. And, uh, to sh and uh, Senator Cherlai and I were, were able to participate in your all-island, all-star league uh, game, so it was quite an honor for us to be there. Um, I think we wanted to also see if we could play, but of course we're too old for that. <laughs> we didn't meet the age requirement. But thank you for inviting us to give you the uh, opening pitch and the uh, strikeout. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do the resolutions first today uh, relative to recognizing the organizers, coaches, and supporters of the girls softball community and commending them for their collective efforts and contributions to the first girls all-island all-star softball game. Whereas the sport of softball has been an island tradition and source of team spirit and camaraderie for Guam's youth, and girls softball has continued to thrive through high school competitions under the Independent Interscholastic Athletic Association of Guam, IIAAG. On April 6, 2019, the athletic directors of the IIAAG sanctioned the historic event at Ukudu High School, which gave the all-island, all-star team players the chance to play softball and compete with their talented peers. In school year 2018-2019, girls softball coaches Marissa Maritita, Russell Maritita, Jonathan Calvo, Liana Chrysostomo from the Academy of Our Lady of Guam, Dave Cruz and Olivia Iriarty from John F. Kennedy High School, and Mike Perez from George Washington High School offered an opportunity for the players to meet and show their and showcase their talents and learn from one another, which allowed the girls softball community to grow further. Through the collective efforts and contributions of the IIAAG Athletic Directors, Mr. Tim Nelson from the Academy of Our Lady of Guam, media partners for highlighting and sharing the event with the Greater Island community, and the softball umpires including Mr. Bob Lacey, Mr. Justin Bennett, and Mr. Kevin Masnayan, the first girls all-island all-star softball game was featured. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Committee on Rules of Imenai Trentai Cinco and Legislatura in Guahan does hereby on behalf of the Legislatura in Guahan and the people of Guam recognize the organizers, coaches, and supporters of the girls' softball community and commend them for their collective efforts and contributions to the first girls' all-island all-star softball game and be it further resolved that the speaker and the chairperson of the Committee on Rules certify and the legislative secretary attest to the adoption hereof and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to the AOLG coaches, Marissa Maritita, Russell Maritita, Jonathan Calvo, and Liana Chrysostomo, to JFK coaches Dave Cruz and Olivia Iriarty, to GW coach Mike Perez, and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero in Magahagan, Guahan. Duly and regularly adopted by the Committee on Rules of Ime Nai Trentai Cinco, Nela Heslator and Guahan, on the 13th day of May 2019, signed by our Speaker Tina Rose Munya Barnes, our Committee on Rules Chairperson Regine Biscoli, and myself, the Legislative Secretary. And so we'd like to call the coaches up to uh, come and receive the resolution. Don't be shy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we want to thank our senators. Uh,
without you guys, this won't be possible. So don't clean us to do senators. Uh, I want to thank the, the governor of Guam also for giving us this opportunity. Um, since I started coaching, uh, it's always been about different schools and, and uh, winning championships. But um, for us, Coach Mike, Coach Dave, it's always been something a little bit bigger. Um, it's not about just the schools. It's about our girls. It's good that I have two girls too, right? So um, they played softball. So I wanted to, uh, we wanted to do something different and get the, our, our, our lady senators involved, um, women in power. Uh, we want to show that our girls are, are just as talented as the boys are. And uh, they can put on a good show just as much as the boys can. So uh, we got together with all our coaches on the island um, and gave the, gave the opportunity. As long, uh, along with the athletic directors, and this is what we uh, turned out. So first off, I want to give a hand to the girls because it's all about you guys. Thank you. <laughs> and also a round of applause to the parents. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. Also. Thank you. Uh, parents, it makes it easier on us coaches to, to make things like this happen because it's the talent that comes from you guys and the upbringing, so uh, we want to commend you also for raising such wonderful uh, young ladies, and who knows, they could be the future standing up here as well. So thank you. Thank you. For those who don't know me, I'm Coach Marissa. Um, going off of what Coach Russ said, he really covered all of it, you know, from thanking um, all of you, our women leaders, first and foremost, for partaking in the inaugural event and for supporting us here. Um, as Coach Russ said, I am one of his daughters, so I have been in, in the shoes of our, our young girls, and I have been there, and I have seen how much, um, how much time we have gone by and not much attention has gone to this sport. But it's because of you that this sport is still thriving. And although we don't have much out leagues, um, IIAG high school softball is something that the sport on this island is still able to thrive. So we want to thank you from the coaches because we may just do the part of being there, but it's up to you to really show that the younger girls that this sport is something that can be competitive and just as fun as any other sport on this island. And this resolution, um, I, as I mentioned to um, everybody, is that it's a, it's a really big deal. And we're very, very grateful. And I know our girls are very grateful for this opportunity to broadcast that softball is still thriving. And I know because of you and because of this, that that opportunity will still continue to be there for you. And this all-star game is just an even bigger opportunity for our girls to come together to represent um, our woman power on, on the island. So thank you again. Thank you, senators. Uh, thank you, parents. Thank you, uh, coaches. Thank you, um, uh, female athletes, the softball, uh, softball athletes. Because of you, I get to have the opportunity to coach. And that means a lot to me. All right, so thank you on, on, from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate everything. Thank you. Thank you, coaches. Um, and yes, thank you, parents, for making this opportunity for your girls possible. And I know it's not easy, but uh, thank you for always going the extra mile for them. And mothers, happy belated Mother's Day for everything that you do. Okay, thank you, coaches. And now we'll call up the girls. Hey, this, their certificate of recognition is presented to Deanna Bloss, honorable mention, All Island Second Base, Simon Sanchez High School. Lara Camacho, second team All Island Center Field, Guam High School. Jarela Martinez, first team All Island Utility, Southern High School.
Let's do that again. Jeraila Martinez, first team, All Island Utility, Southern High School. <laughs> Kaylia? Kaylia Guerrero, honorable mention, All Island Shortstop, Academy of Our Lady of Guam. Jerisha, Jerisha Kichichu, second team, all island, second base, George Washington High School. Okay, Rocky J. Mesa, second team, all island catcher, George Washington High School. Olivia Salas, honorable mention, All Island Third Base Academy of Our Lady of Guam. Sierra Tenorio, first team, All Island Second Base Academy of Our Lady of Guam. Okay. And Last but not least, Ashley Mendiola, MVP, first team, All Island Pitcher, Academy of Our Lady of Guam. And Talon Taposnia, first team, All Island Center Field, Academy of Our Lady of Guam. Uh, we want to thank the ladies and, again, uh, the coaches and also the schools that collaborated together. You know, uh, there's been, uh, it's nice to always see our public and private schools interact with one another, especially when it comes to competition, right? So, um, and it's a friendly competition. So I'd like to ask uh, perhaps the MVP, to Ashley, to come up and just say a couple words, maybe about your experience. Growing up, uh, Sapo was a very important part of my family. So I always enjoyed seeing my um, uncles, aunties, ninos, ninas, and sisters playing the sport. And it made me fall in love. And the sport has taught me so much as an athlete and as a person as well, that when you put your mind and heart to something that you believe in, you can accomplish anything that's uh, thrown in your way. So I'm very fortunate to be able to be a part of this resolution and uh, to be among the uh, women senators. And I just want to say thank you very much to everybody that has supported us and has shown the love even when people didn't believe in our sport. Well said. Is there anyone else that would like to share a little bit about their experience? No? No? Anyone? Okay. Okay. I'd like to... I'd like to thank everyone again. Thank you very much and have a good day.